In this video, we'll look at how to shape your images with Divi's Gradient Builder to help you add unique designs to your images. First, let's create the layout that we'll use in all the examples. In our new Divi page, we're gonna customize the section. Let's add a background color to the section, F0, F3, FB. Next, go to the Design tab, select Spacing, and add a 10% padding to the top and to the bottom. Now, let's add a new row with a 2 3rd, 1 3rd column. Open the row settings, go to design, spacing, sizing, and select use custom gutter width and set the max width to 1480 pixels. In the content tab, open the settings for the row's first column and go to design, spacing, and add 9% padding to the left and to the right. Next, let's add a text module in the left column. We're going to select heading four. Next, go to the design tab, select heading text, and then H4. We're gonna set the font to Montserrat, change the weight to bold, the style to all caps, and the color to 1D4EFF. For text size, let's click on the responsive icon, set the desktop size to 16 pixels, tablet size to 14 pixels, and phone size to 12 pixels. Change the letter spacing to 0.3 EM and line height to 1.6 EM. Scroll down, select spacing, and change the bottom margin to zero pixels. Now underneath our first text module, let's add another. We're going to set this as heading one. Let's go to the design tab and choose heading text. Again, our font is going to be Montserrat. The weight is gonna be bold and the color is going to be 0F1154. Under text size, press the responsive icon yet again. For desktop, we're gonna go with 80 pixels, tablet, 40 pixels, phone, 24 pixels. And let's change our line height to 110%. Yet again, under this text, we're going to add another text module. This time, we're gonna leave it set as paragraph. Now go to design, change the font to Roboto, set the weight to medium and the color to black. Yet again, for text size, let's go ahead and press the responsive icon. Desktop and tablets is going to be 18 pixels and phone is going to be 14 pixels. Line height is going to be 180%. Finally, scroll down, select spacing, and set the bottom margin to 0%. Looking good so far. Now let's add an image module to the column on the right. First, let's delete the dummy image by pressing this trash icon. Now select background, select the image tab, and add your image. We're gonna leave all the settings at their default. Don't worry about how the image looks right now. Now select the design tab and press on spacing. Let's add some margin. So first at the top, we're gonna to do negative 10%. Left, we're gonna do negative 30%. And right, we're gonna do 10%. Now for padding, we're gonna do 300 pixels top and bottom. Now for margin, go back and press the responsive icon and select tablet. Let's set top to 0%, left to 0%, and right to 0%. And for padding, let's go ahead and press that responsive icon again. Press phone and change the top and bottom padding to 150 pixels. The tablet padding will follow the desktop settings. All right, so the first part of the tutorial is now complete. We're gonna use these settings and shape the images with Divi's Gradient Builder. Our first example gives the image a circular shape with a hole in the center. To get started, we're gonna open our images module settings, go to background, select background gradient, Press the plus icon, and we're gonna add six stops in total. Our first stop is F0, F3, FB, and that's at 0%. Our second stop is at 45%, and the color is going to be F0, F3, FB again. Our third stop is also going to be 45%. And this time we're going with RGBA, 41, 196, 169, zero. Our fourth stop is going to be 69%, also RGBA, 250, 255, 214, zero. Our fifth stop is also going to be 69%, but on top, and we're gonna change the color to F0, F3, FB. Our sixth stop is going to be at 100%, and the color, again, is going to be F0, F3, FB. For gradient type, select circular. Set the position to center, use percent for unit, and right here at the bottom, we're going to enable place gradient above background image. And there we go, that is example number one. For example number two, we're gonna reset our background gradient. And this time we are going to actually place diagonal lines across the image. So again, add a background gradient. And let's start with first stop at 
F0F3FB, which if you don't know, that is our background color. That's how we're actually making it disappear. Our second stop is going to be 5%, and the color is also going to be F0F3FB. Our third stop is going to be directly on top of our previous stop, and this time the color is going to be RGBA 175, 175, 175, 0. Our fourth and final stop is going to be at 13%, RGBA 41, 196, 169, 0. Gradient type is going to be linear. Our direction is going to be 150 degrees. We're going to repeat the gradient, use percent for our unit, and again, place gradient above background image. And there it is, that is our third example. Now we're gonna delete this background gradient and get ready for our third example, which is an elliptical gradient. So again, add another gradient, and our first stop is gonna be here at 0%, and we're gonna use that background color yet again. Second stop is gonna be at 9%, with our background color yet again. Our third stop is going to be on top of that previous stop, and this time we're gonna go with RGBA, 175, 175, 175, zero. Our fourth and final stop is going to be all the way at 21%. And again, RGBA, this time 41, 196, 169, zero. Now we're gonna scroll down, change the type to elliptical, position, top left, repeat gradient, percentage as our unit, and place gradient above background image. And there we go, that is our third example. Yet again, we're gonna delete that and do our fourth and final example. This is going to use conical to create a unique image shape. So again, one final time, let's add a new gradient. Our first stop is going to be all the way at 23%, and it's gonna be our background color yet again. That second stop is going to be at 35% with our background color again. Our third stop is gonna go right on top of that, RGBA 41, 196, 169, zero. Our fourth stop is going to be at 65%, RGBA 250, 255, 214, zero. And our fifth stop is gonna go right on top of that with our background color. Now we're gonna change our gradient type to conical, leave the direction as default, position is going to be bottom, and make sure place gradient above background image is selected. And there we go, four different examples of how to shape your images with Divi's Gradient Builder. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.